To begin the quest, head to the area located here on the map. Climb the trellis on the north side of the building. And climb up the ladder. Speak to the watchtower wizard and choose the chat options on screen. After the conversation, climb down the ladder twice. You now have to search the bushes for some clues. You can find a few items here and there. But the most important item is all the way northwest, you'll find some fingernails. Once said fingernails are found, head back to the Watchtower Wizard, where you started the quest. Speak to him and choose the first chat option for both prompts. Next, speak to Og. He is located just northwest of the Yenil Lodestone. Located here on the map. Speak to him and choose the first chat option. After the conversation, head south to a small island and use a rope on the nearby tree. Speak to Gru, he is the ogre in the dark brown, and choose the first chat option. After the conversation, while you're here, pick up some jangle berries and swing off the island. Next, make your way to a cave entrance south of Castle Wars, located here on the map. Before you enter, if you do not have a death room just yet, pick one up right beside the wolves. Then enter the cave. Once you appear on the small island, open the nearby chest to obtain some gold. On this island, you will find an ogre by the name of Gorad. Slay him to receive his tooth. Then speak to Toban twice and choose the first chat option for both prompts. you should receive a part of a statue. Next, head back to Gru. This is the first island where you used a rope to cross. Speak to him. And you should receive a crystal and another part of the statue. With that out of the way, swing off the island and speak to Og just north. Next, make your way back to the wizard where you started the quest. Same as before, climb the trellis. Speak to him.
you should now have a completed statue. Next, make your way into the Ogre City using the Northern Path. Use your statue on the guard. Continue along the path. Enter the small ogre market. And steal a rock cake from the counter. And continue along the southwestern path. Speak to one of the guards and choose the first chat option. After that discussion, use your rock cake on the guard that you talked to and you will now be allowed to cross. Continue along the path till you hit a bridge with an obstacle. Attempt to jump it. You will be stopped by the guards. Go ahead and choose the first chat option to pay 20 coins. At the end of the path, you will find some guards. Carefully talk to one of them and choose the second chat option. Speak to the same ogre once again and you should receive a map. Make your way back to the entrance of the Ogre City, located here on the map. Once you're at the location I mentioned, head just to the east and speak to the Scavid and choose the second chat option. After the conversation, exit the cave and enter the northwesternmost cave as I show you here. Speak to the scabbard and choose the IG option, that is IG. Next, go ahead and pick up two nightshades. Now, at the time of this recording, the update hasn't happened where we have multiple nightshades. But regardless, it's the same. Just make sure to pick up two of them. With that out of the way, exit the cave. And enter the one just to your east. Speak to the scavid and choose the R option, that is A-R. Exit the cave, and enter the one just to your east once again. Speak to the scavid, and choose the Cur option, that is C-U-R. Exit the cave, and run along the edges of the city on the east side. Enter the cave and speak to the scavid. Choose the NOD nod option. Next, exit the cave and speak to the first scavid that we talked to. Speak to him. Then exit the cave. Upon exit, you will now have to run to the south.
then use a gold bar on him. Continue along the path. And enter the cave. Speak to the scavenger and he will tell you one of these four words. Go ahead and reply with the appropriate answer. If done so correctly, you should receive a pink crystal. Next, make your way back to the ogre market. Use a nightshade on the enclave guard. And choose proceed. Now you don't need to do anything here just yet, so simply run all the way north. And exit the cave. And make your way back to the Watchtower Wizard where you started the quest. Talk to him. After the conversation, add a guam to your vial. Then carefully add the jangle berries. Carefully right click and grind your regular bones. Then use it on the potion. Then lastly, talk to the wizard once again. You should now have a magic ogre potion. And for the last time, make your way back to the ogre market. Like before, use your nightshade on the guard and enter the enclave. Now throughout the enclave, there are six ogre shamans. Go ahead and use your potion on six of them. You know when you've had them all? When you receive a blue crystal. With that complete, head to the center of the enclave. And mine the stone for a green crystal. And for the last time, head back to the wizard where you started the quest. Talk to him. Add the crystals to the specific pillars mentioned here on screen. Quest complete.